The next type of index that we are going to cover is the cluster index. Now imagine a scenario where you have two or more than two tables and all of these tables share a common column. So instead of creating a separate index on each column of the table, you can create one cluster index which will be applicable to all the tables of that shared column. So that is how you can visualize a cluster index. One index which will be applicable to all the shared column of the table. Some of the concepts which is applicable to this slide is the cluster table. So cluster table is nothing but the group of tables that share the common columns. Let's create a cluster index. So first what we are going to do is we will create a cluster, create cluster, cluster name, emp underscore department underscore cluster. This is the cluster name and I am putting the department ID as the column which is part of this cluster. Then I'm going to create an index on this cluster which will become your cluster index. So create index index name on cluster cluster name emp underscore department underscore cluster. So this step will create a cluster index. Now I have a cluster index. Now I have to create two temporary tables. Create table emp and this emp table should be a part of the cluster so that we can be able to make use of the cluster index. So first cluster index is the emp table create table emp cluster part of cluster emp underscore department underscore cluster which is also sharing the common column department id as select star from employees. Second cluster table is the department table which is also part of the same cluster emp underscore department underscore cluster as select star from the departments table. Now I have a cluster index created. I have two separate cluster tables. Now if I fire a query say select star from emp now emp is my cluster table where department id is equal to 10 and if you see the execution plan, it has done an index unique scan on the department ID column for value 10. And the index being used is IDX underscore EMP underscore department underscore cluster, which is nothing but your cluster index. So in this case, we were able to make use of the cluster index because EMP table is created as a part of the cluster and we already have a cluster index created on the department ID column. Similarly, if you fire a query say select star from department where department ID is equal to 10, it is again going to make use of the same cluster index. So that is the advantage of the cluster index. One index created on shared column of multiple tables which will be applicable while accessing the rows from those specific tables.